Hello everybody, uh, welcome to KBC's Bible Study and today we are continuing our study going through this book, Reading Between the Lines by Glenn Scrivener, a very good writer. And uh, I found that when delivering these vlogs I don't have to do very much really, apart from read what he has said so well. So um, today we are focusing in on Matthew 5 verse 7. It's part of the Beatitudes and we are looking at Blessed are the Merciful. And Glenn Scrivener starts with these questions. Ever heard of these phrases? Don't get mad, get even. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's every man for himself. Credit where credit's due. Survival of the fittest. And money makes the world go around. And he writes these words. We all know these sayings. They sound hard-nosed and realistic. But then Jesus comes along and rewrites them all. Essentially, in Christ's kingdom, it's a case of don't get mad, get reconciled. It's a dog help dog world. It's every man for his neighbour. Credit where none is due. Survival of the feeblest. And mercy makes the world go round. Jesus turns everything on its head. He upends all our assumptions about earning and deserving and paying and paying back. In Christ's kingdom, mercy, not merit, is the currency. You see, to be a Christian is to be the recipient of an almighty flow of undeserved kindness. For the followers of Jesus, everything is about mercy. The whole structure of the Beatitudes communicates this. Notice how with the eight Beatitudes, the first four describe being empty before God. We are, verse 3, poor in spirit, verse 4, mourners, verse 5, meek, in verse 6, hungering and thirsting for righteousness, utterly empty before God. But now that we come to the fifth Beatitude, we are turning the corner. Now, having received the kingdom, verse 3, having been comforted, verse 4, having been promised the world, verse 5, having been filled, we flow to the world and pour ourselves out. With the fifth beatitude, we pass on to mercy. Next, as we'll see, we deal with purely with the world, that's verse 8. We convey peace that we've received, verse 9. And finally, what do we get for all our troubles? Persecution. Verse 10. <laughs> but this is the flow, empty before God, and so filled by him, now we are poured out to the nations. Grace runs downhill from heaven to us and from us to the world. See, out in the world, people think it's all about survival of the fittest and therefore the sacrifice of the feeblest. The strong must eat the weak. It's the law of nature. But it's not the law of Christ or the way of Christ. Consider the cross. There you see the sacrifice of the fittest. Why? For the survival of the feeblest. That's you and me. For the meek. For sinners. For us. Christ's kingdom is not about the survival of the fittest or the sacrifice of the feeblest. It's about the sacrifice of the fittest, Christ, so the survival of the feeblest is us. Today you will be blessed, you will be happy when you get on board with Christ's mercy project, empty before God, return to him now to be filled and then pour it out. Pour it out on the unworthy, that's what mercy is all about. Who can you show mercy to today? To figure that out, ask yourself, who do I not want to show love? Who do I not want to bless? Who do I feel does not deserve my kindness? Think about those people. Of course they don't deserve your kindness. That's why they need mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Matthew 5 verse 7. Good words. Good book. Thank you for listening. God bless and bye for now.